We have totally indisputable evidence that prayer influences sick people to get better, and it's caused absolutely fantastical recoveries, such as the spread of gangrene suddenly stopping in a person who already had it. With holy water, when it is poured over sick animals or a dying plant, they revive. Those are the facts, and no physical chemist currently is able to understand it. They simply can't. January the 18th. It is the eve of the Orthodox Feast of the Epiphany. Two flasks are filled with ordinary tap water. Early in the morning, one of them is set inside the church, near the vessel over which the sacrament of sanctification is to be performed. Every year on January 19th, the faithful and even non-believers hurry into churches to pick up some of the baptismal water. It is believed to possess extraordinary properties. In order to confirm or refute this, the two flasks were taken to the laboratory for study immediately after the service. Here, the water was frozen in a cryogenic chamber and photographed under the microscope. The crystals of the tap water looked like a chaotic, diffused spot. while the water that had been in the church had the rectilinear symmetrical form of a six-pointed star. It is well known that holy water has a very powerful and stable structure. This water can pass its properties. Take only 10 grams of it and dilute it in 60 liters of common water and the whole amount will have the properties of the holy water. Perhaps scientists will tell us sometime what prayer is. Perhaps scientists will tell us sometime what happens with human nature under the influence of divine grace. 